We're getting ready to hit the squabble in front of 10,000 people that weren't fence, bro. It's going to be crazy. But check it out. Today starts the squabble challenge. We need somebody, anybody to hit the squabble in the most random place imaginable. Whoever does it in the most random place will win the grand prize. The prize is we're going to fly you out to our most nearest tour stop to you, have dinner with you, and give you a Christ like care pack. You come eat, but let's get to it. It's one offense, me. Is it just me, or are they hyping up this Dune movie with Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya like it's the best movie that's ever been made in the history of movies? Greatest movie of Rotten Tomatoes. The best is Lord of the Rings. Matrix situation. To me, it felt like they trying hecka hard to get us to believe that. Because number one, it wasn't even hidden all like that. And it's no hate on Zendaya or Timothy Chalamet. I believe we gonna rock with them one day, but it's like, bruh, it, what it seems like is, the studio put a half a billion dollars in it and they're like, all right, we got to put out the secret weapons, the big guns for the marketing to make sure this don't flop because more than likely it's going to flop. Do people really like Doom, bro? Okay, Doom is out. I'm going to see it because I'm a movie person. But who's excited for Doom? Who's excited to see Doom? You see the first one? Yes. What did you think? It was hard for me to. I didn't watch the first one. That's what I'm saying. Right, it was hard me. for me to engage in it. I saw something yesterday too that said that they're like doing two best movies of all time, like 11 out of 10. I was like, what? Bro, they're doing that on purpose, bro, because they got the two biggest young stars co starring in this movie. A lot of money in it. They want this to be the thing. They're trying hard. And to me, when you try hard like that, it don't work. I don't think it's going to work. This generation don't care about critics and what they have to say. Mm -hmm. They don't. That's really the older generation. And the older generation not going to want to see two 20-year-old stars doing this like that. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, it might be, I think the box office performance would be like mid. I no, think that there's be. no way. Brother? It's going to break records, watch. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to break just, records. There's just too much industry behind it, like you're saying. But they won't let it flop. I'll do well at least. Check one, two, testing one, two, three. Like Hello. Yeah. <laughs> video, mouse, play. Two, one, two. Uh, hey, hey, one, two, one, two. Hey, yeah, hey, this looks one. crazy. <laughs> to me, it's the. It's the lighting. Yeah, like for real. It looks beautiful. It looks like a, um, some good lighting on you too. Manny, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like, look, this is what we got to give. This is who we are. Apparently, God sees what we carry worthy enough to be on a platform like this. And so, what I'm going to do is double down on who I already am. I'm not going to try to be somebody else. I'm going to just super do me on a super level, if that makes any sense. Like, yeah. I'm going to give my testimony fiercely. I'm going to throw out merch uh, intentionally. I'm going to make them dance. We're going to have 10,000 people squabbling, jumping to I don't need them. Boy, I'm about to preach the house down. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, bro. Oh my god. Yes. I'm Eddie. Nice to meet you. Nice Eddie. to meet you. Microphone for you. Excellent. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you don't want to stand. I'm just putting it on there. Hey, I could. Uh, you can do whatever Lift you your want. Hands. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. Do your thing. We don't care. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> um, if you need anything, holler at me. Mm. Um, we'll make sure that you get you plenty of level up here as mm. much as we can. Um, with wedges and all that stuff, and rock and roll from there. Excellent. That sounds good, man. It sounds perfect. How's that feel up there for you, Miles? Feels great. Feels cool. full. Sweet. Hopefully, it feels the same way with 10,000 screaming middle schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's a good start. It'd be high schoolers. High schoolers, even better. High and middle, I guess. High schoolers are easier to, you know, control, I guess. Sick. Testing, testing. I can't help myself, I'm so hot, I might melt my soul. Big stepping. 
Big stepper. Big stepper. Big stepper. Uh oh. Yes, sir. God on me. I got God on me. Why they mad at me? Lying on me. Why they fired on me? I got fire on me. Sides on me. Switch the sides on me. Hey, one, two, three. More track. Holes in the ground when I walk, killing demons out loud. I'm on the ground with a chalk. When we pull up to the city, the whole town from the top. Shining like a crown in the dark. Dark. Three, two. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Miles Minnick. I'm super excited. Look, we just finished sound check here at Warner Fest 24. We cannot wait to see you tonight. We're gonna see you live here in the Smoky Mountains. Make sure you bring everybody you know. It's gonna be 10,000 plus. Are you kidding me? Let's get to it, y'all. Let's go. Perfect. And I'm all day. Put your arms in a circle like a single fan. Pulled up to the party in a minivan. When I say I scrap a lot, I be scrapping with my skin. Can't let my shoulders pass down on my skin. So I'm especially excited because I finally, like, perfected my set to where I figured out how to shorten sober but still make it impactful and perfect squabble to make it, like, to fit instead of it being like the whole song I like this is the sweet spot is a hook a verse and a hook a hook a verse and a hook for performances that aren't necessarily your tour stops uh, tonight I believe I'm gonna be introduced to thousands of new people and whenever it's a new crowd you want to you want to get straight to the point and not overkill things so the only full song I'm doing is Christ like because it's Christ like and it's appropriate, and I might give away like 10 hats during that song or something. But this is my set for Winterfest. It's in uh, Smoky Mountain, Tennessee. Uh, it's gonna be super crazy, bro, over 10,000 people. This is probably the biggest crowd I've been in front of. We've done 3,000, 4,000, 8,000, but 10,000 plus like this is crazy. And so I'm trying not to let my anxiety make me forgetful. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when I get nervous, it's like, what are my lines? Like, what am I supposed to do? So, I'm literally typing out my set, and I'm about to write down or type in everything I plan to say and rehearse it. Because I'm not, I'm not just trying to be up there rapping. Like, we're going to minister and get them involved. Here's a nugget for all the performers. Don't perform for them. Perform with them. Get them involved. Teach them the choruses, have them sing it out. If they don't know who you are, the only way you're gonna keep their attention is if you involve them. Even, even if they do know who you are, involve them jokers. Best believe on the Miles Minute tour, it's gonna be a collective party. God, I pray that by the time we leave this venue tonight that we'll say, look what God has done. I pray that tonight will be perfect. I pray that the set will be perfect. I pray that everything will be perfect. God, please protect us from pride. Protect us from sabotage. Protect us from unnecessary pitfalls, God. Protect us from foolishness, God. Protect us from things not going our way tonight. Lord, we pray that everything goes our way tonight. We submit to your way tonight. God, is my dad. Devil want to run up on me? Can you please give it up and get hyped for miles? Before I came to Christ, I was showing out, getting hyped for all kind of things. My favorite sports teams, my favorite basketball teams, 
But if I can show out for that, why won't I show out for the one who saved my soul? Why won't I show out for the one who snatched me from the street? Why won't we show out for the one that has took us from A to B, from A to Z, from darkness to light? Y'all hear me today with the best 25? My team shine glow, Mike knee blindfold, high key, I'm on, can't leave my zone. Worst Smith Christie's first kid, 15, no hope, it seems, still hope, big dreams. Sick of interviews, I'm high, still came for the last time. Miles Minnick is a real name, show out, show out. Love y'all, man, for real, God bless. You been up one more time for Miles Minnick, for the I feel accomplished. I feel like I'm doing what God created me to do. Period. Like, when I was up there, I felt like I was in a Kobe Bryant song when he dropped 81 points. And I know a lot of people say that, but I actually felt that. Like, there, there was no wrong that I could do up there. I felt like literally I took a back seat and Holy Spirit took the wheel and just started going. Bruh, it, it, was, it, was, it was incredible. Like, there's so much I could say, but even how prophetic the date is, March 1st. We're the first to March. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a beautiful way to start the month of miracles. Like, the Fortnite, the Swabble Day, freaking the tour coming up, the album up come up, the challenge for Swabble starts tomorrow. For us to get that footage, for us to be a blessing to that many people at one time. At one time. I don't even, like, but you can think about it, bro. Like, how I prepared for this is the same way I prepared to perform for 10 people. You can look at the footage right now, bro. When I performed for 10 people, I gave it my absolute all. Absolutely. I, bro, listen to me, bro. Them little concerts at them little halls at the little college in my city, I was sneezing on tables, going dumb with them people. It was 10 of them. And some of them were sitting in their chair and slouched over, not even, not even wanting to be there. But I went crazy for them. Because I knew if you're faithful with little, God will bless you with much. This is a harvest for all the seeds we've sown. All the places we went to for free. All the times we drove five hours, six hours, seven hours. And for a crowd of 20 people. That one time I went to Fresno instead of to go to Holy Smoke Fest. And I performed for 12 people. God sees that. Honors that. And so we would never be without a harvest because we served when people weren't looking. We did things people didn't want to do, and we operated out of integrity. They said, no, I agreed to be at that little event with 12 people. I'm sorry, no big deal. I can't go to Holy Smoke. But God blesses that. You don't forget that. God will never forget your labor of love. That's scripture, and it's true. And now look, and hey, here's the thing too. This is small compared to what's next. And so 10,000 is our new 10. 10,000 is our new 10. And so how we treat 10,000 is going to determine if that 100K is going to come or not. I said all of that to say. There is no greater feeling than to know you are existing in the pocket that you were created to exist in. And that's all. When you living in your calling, everyone gon' hit you. But I gotta go, they said everyone gon' miss you. Whole city raised me, never gon' forget you. Wanna keep them close, but can't everyone.